Welcome to how to make a BCG matrix on Excel from start to finish. Okay, to start with, you'd need some data. Uh, in this case, I've made up data for a hypothetical retailer that has three divisions, as you can see. And what we need is their market share, the largest competitor market share. So we don't need market shares for all players in this case, because we're really only plotting ourselves and seeing this strategic intent for ourselves, the growth rate for each of these markets, and overall revenue. So in this case, as an example, our supermarket chain has 30% market share, it's the market leader. The next largest competitor is behind us, has 20% share. We have 5% growth in supermarkets across the industry, and our revenue, that's in billions, it's our largest portfolio and it's worth 20 billion dollars in revenue. Now we need to calculate this number, which is fairly straightforward. If you watch the function button, it's just simply plus our market share divided by our largest competitor. And I'll just copy that down. Okay, so we can see in the supermarkets we are one and a half times the size of our largest competitor. In department stores were half the size and in convenience stores well, quarter quarter of the size. Okay, we've got two fairly mature markets and one growth market, and we're doing very well in supermarkets, pretty well in convenience stores, but uh, not as well in department stores. So these are the three sets of numbers that go into creating the Boston Consulting Group matrix. So let's do that. I'm going to start with a blank chart to see how, how we do it from start to finish. So I'm highlighting nothing. Going up here to the insert menu option, hitting other charts, and going to select a bubble chart. So we have a blank, at this stage a, a blank uh, template to work in. I'll just make it smaller so we can see all the data. I'll, 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 so I'll put it over here, might be easier, but I'll make this a bit larger later on. Okay, so I've got no data, so I have to select the data. And I'm going to go in and I just go one by one so you can see exactly what's happening. So I'm going to add series one. Series name is the name of the supermarket. The X is our relative market share. Okay. Our Y is market growth rate. And the circle size is the revenue. Okay, so you just simply add again and put the next one in and follow the same procedure, picking up all four pieces of information. So that automatically maps the second one. And then for this case, I'll put the third one in. Now, if you don't want to go all the trouble of doing this, I've already set up, set up a template that's available on the link below of the video here that uh, does this automatically. So you, all you need to do is key in the numbers. Um, and there's nothing else to, to do. or The graph produces automatically for you. Now, that's our starting point. As you can see, on a Boston Consulting Group model, typically we've got the relative market share running from highest to lowest. So we need to reverse that. In this case, we go up to the layout option. This is actually a horizontal axis. So I'm clicking access, horizontal, more options. And I'm going to show them in reverse order which is fantastic. So it gives me that sort of dimension. Okay, I want to, for the sake of it, put supermarket in here, department store. I want to label the circles rather than having it the side because if we have lots of them, it becomes quite confusing. So that's done through the layout option, data labels. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is click on that one first, go up to data labels, more options, and I want the series name. I don't want any values, and I want it in the center. Okay, and I just repeat that. Click on what I want to change. Data labels, more options, series name, center it. And the last one here. Sorry. Okay, then I don't need this here. I can just highlight it and delete it. Now, almost here on the four quadrants. Obviously, we need the 
all these lines to disappear to show four boxes. So notice my menus change. I click on the, the chart, see how it changes again. Click on the chart, I bring up the chart menu. I'm going to lay out these here are uh, grid lines, so I get a grid lines and I don't want any. So I click none, select none. And then I basically want um, to uh, have this vertical running across the 10% because typically the Boston Consulting Group splits uh, stars and cash cow at the 10% mark. So I'm going to go up to again layout, axis, horizontal, more options, and I want it to cr the vertical to cross at the one. So I'm going to put one there. Okay, so I've shifted it there, and I will do the same for the uh, the vertical this time, where I want the horizontal to cross, and it's at 10%. So I'm going to put in 0.1. Okay, and now I have something more resembling uh, the Boston Consulting Group with its four boxes. Okay, now we can play around with the, the format that, of that a little bit, but basically we've got our cash cow, our dog, and our, our question mark up there. Now obviously I have no titles here. What we could do, click on the chart, go up to chart title, and just put it above there and just say... BCG for a retailer. Sorry, I got that in cap, so I should change that. BCG a retailer. Okay, so that gives me the heading there. I can add if I wanted to. I can add the um, sorry the access titles if I want to put in whether it's market uh, growth or, or relative market share. But what I might want to do is add uh, add a text box, so insert text box. Come down here and I just pipe the word cash cows here. Let's make it bigger so I can see it. Bring it up. Okay, so I could actually go through and label each of the, the sections if I wanted to. And that's how I would construct a BCG model from scratch. Okay, and then you can just copy and, and, and save it. Like I said, if you don't want to, do, to go to all the hassle of doing this, free template is available. And you can email me any questions.